Do you remember when Ring just had one video doorbell? Well, that's not the case anymore. Now they've got it all the way from budget to high-end options. We're gonna be taking a look today at the doorbell wired, which is their budget version, all the way up to their Pro 2, which is their high-end version. I wanna compare these two together to see what the difference actually is, and if the quality and features that we're getting from the Pro 2 actually justify the cost. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So these are the two doorbells we are gonna be putting against each other. We have got the Ring Wired doorbell. So this is their very inexpensive budget entry doorbell right here. Doesn't come with really any bells and whistles. And then we've got the Pro 2, their high-end doorbell that you can pick up. You can see the difference between the two sizes right here. These are both wired doorbells. So there's no battery built into these guys right here. They do have to be wired up. Now in a second here, we're gonna be talking about the features of what each one comes with. We're also going to be looking at demos, seeing these compared side by side to see if the Pro 2 can really justify its extra cost. Now I'm gonna have timestamps down below so you guys can jump around in this video and see what you wanna see. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's take a look at the hardware that comes in these boxes. So we've got our packet of documentation here. It comes with a ring sticker, quick start guide, how to install everything. We've got pack A, which is gonna be our mounting screws. Pack B here, which is going to be our screws for putting the cover around the doorbell and securing it. We've also got our jumper cable that is going to be for our existing wiring. We're gonna to need to jump that power. And then here is what the doorbell looks like. So here's the case, this thing does come off and this is the doorbell. We've got mounting holes on the top and bottom. You're gonna use that to mount it in. And then this is what the doorbell looks like. Here on the back, it gives us our power voltage and everything that we need. We're gonna pull that down and then this is the terminals for getting this guy powered up. Once you get it mounted and everything, we go ahead and put the cover back on. We're gonna put that screw down here on the bottom, get everything locked in, and we are gonna be good to go. So that is what comes in the box. Okay, and here's everything you get with the Pro 2. So we've got our user guide, we've got our mounting screws and anchors here. We've got our little screws that are going to attach the face covering onto here. Now this one does come with an angle bracket, so we can angle it in any direction that we want to. Obviously our doorbell. We've got some more mounting screws here. Here are some jumper cables and things like that in case you want to extend the wires that are inside of your wall. We have also got our power kit right here. So we do need to power this up when we're installing and that is going to allow us to use our existing chime. We've got our tool right here and then here is the doorbell. So this is our 15 by 36 by 15 by 36 image sensor right there. Obviously we've got our button on the back. We have got our terminals for powering this guy up, and you can always pop the faceplate off too to get that installed. Now that we've taken a look at what comes in the box, let's talk about the features. Okay, Ring really made it easy for us comparing the features of both of these cameras because they've got a comparison set up on their site. If we take a look here, we've got our Ring video doorbell wired, and then at the end, on this side, we've got the Pro 2. We can see our pricing difference right here. We can see our power sources. These are both hardwired. We've got live video and two-way talk, so this is gonna be standard with the wired. The Pro 2 is going to have improved audio in it. Now, here is gonna be probably the biggest difference that we're gonna see, is that the wired version is the 1080p, which is standard with most Ring cameras, but with the Pro 2, we're getting a 1536 by 1536 aspect ratio, which is gonna be kind of similar to a 2K image. It's gonna be squared instead of the normal 16 by nine aspect ratio. So we're gonna get a lot more of the top and bottom, which is gonna be cool to see with a video doorbell. Now some other features, we've got motion detection and alerts. With the Pro 2, we're gonna get added 3D motion detection, which I'll show you guys a demo of in a bit. We've also got, let's see here, you can control it from the Ring app. We've got pre-roll video, meaning that you'll catch the beginning of the videos with them being hardwired in, which is awesome. We've got quick replies with them. Now here is where the Pro 2 is going to have some features that the basic one doesn't. And that is going to be working with your existing chime. So if you have an existing chime in your house and it's pre-wired, the Pro 2 is going to work with that existing chime. If you've got the wired version, it is not. You can either pick up a Ring chime, which is a separate add-on device, or you can actually connect either one of these cameras up to an Amazon Echo device. So whether you have an Echo Show or maybe an Echo Dot, you can actually use those as chimes also. Going back to the chart here, the wired version is only gonna have the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. 
where the Pro 2 is going to have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you're gonna get faster speeds out of that. We've got interchangeable faceplates with the Pro 2, not with the wired. We've also got built-in Alexa greetings, which is going to allow the voice assistant to interact with the person at the front door. I gotta say it's a little gimmicky, and partly I say that is because typically nobody really stays at my front door. If anyone comes to my front door, it's usually a delivery person. There's nobody going there, ringing the doorbell, and standing and waiting to interact with Amazon's voice assistant. Now, the last two features that are specific for the Pro 2 is that we've got bird's eye view, and we've also got head to toe video. So the bird's eye view is a pretty interesting feature. I think people are either really going to enjoy it or you're gonna think it's kind of gimmicky and it's just not for you. Let's take a look here on the site and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So we've got their 3D motion detection, which is just for the Pro 2. You can see here that it kind of gives off like a sonar effect. It's going to be able to tell you the distance and it's going to have these little dots of somebody who is walking around. Now, the interesting thing about this feature right here is you're only able to see it when you look at videos within the app. If you download that video to your computer, to your phone, anything like that, it does not have that 3D bird's eye view attached to it. And I'll show you guys in a little bit directly in the app, but we've got this version right here. And actually, if we scroll down a little bit here on the site, they do have a preview for it right here. So here is the bird's eye view. You can actually see these dots of the path the person walked to get up to your front door. Like I said, you're either gonna love it or hate it. Let me show you guys in the app what I mean about this feature. So I've got the Ring Pro 2 loaded up right here. Now you can see up in the top corner of this, this is a top-down view of my house. I think they use Google Maps or something like that to get a top-down view. And this is something you all can figure and set up in the app right here. So if I go ahead and I'm gonna click on play it right here, we're gonna let this video play. And as I'm walking up right here, you can see the dots start glowing in the top and you know the path that I have taken to come up to the door. It's also gonna be the same when I leave. You're gonna see the paths and the dots going out. Now you may think, why do I care about that? Um, for me, you know, I wouldn't care about that because I've only got one path going to and from my door. But for other people, you know, depending on what you have, it may be good to know that, you know, say the person walked around, uh, you know, instead of taking the path, maybe they went a different way and they walked down the side of your house. Those little dots are going to be able to tell you kind of which direction a person went. And that could be helpful in some situations, but obviously not in all situations. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these demos. All right, here we have a daytime shot with these two cameras right here. You're obviously gonna notice a difference at that with the Pro 2. You see a lot more of the bottom and the top. And you're also probably gonna notice that the image is going to be a lot clearer. We're also testing out audio between these two cameras so you guys can hear what it sounds like. But now that we've done this, let's go ahead and test out some evening shots and then we'll go into some night shots. Okay, so the sun has gone down a little bit. You can obviously see it is less bright behind me but these are what these two cameras look like with not, not so much bright light. And now that we have seen these kind of in an evening time look, let's go ahead and take a look at what, what these cameras look like at nighttime. Okay, so here is the night vision with the ring wired doorbell. Now we want to do these tests without them being compared side by side because the infrared on them would mess them up. So we're just doing the ring wired right now. Here is what it looks like at night what do you guys think all right so we're taking a look at the ring pro 2 this is what it looks like i do not have colored night vision turned on so we're just looking at the black and white of what this camera can do but next i want to take a look at what this thing looks like with colored night vision turned on all right so here we have the colored night vision turned on with this camera i don't know what the difference is really going to look like until i take a look at these tests but it is now officially on and we will take a look if it really improves the image or not but let me know in the comments what you guys think about this colored night vision. Okay, so as we expected, the Pro 2 is just far superior when it comes to image quality. Now, I was really surprised at how well the wired version held up as far as audio. I almost thought the audio was a little bit better with the cheaper wired version than I did with the Pro 2. Now granted, the Pro 2 has been out for a little while and it's a little bit older, but still, I thought that it would have better audio. Now, not only was the Pro 2 clearer in every single example that we saw, but we got to see more of the top and the bottom of each of the shots 
and you got to see a better dynamic range, meaning that even though the background was really bright, you still got to see me good when I was in the shade. You could obviously see me better than you could with the wired version. Now, obviously this is the case. The Pro 2 is three times the price of the wired version. And I will say that if that is in your budget, I would say that is the way to go. With the extra features that it offers, that 3D, the bird's eye view. Now, granted, you may not need those, but they, you know, they may be nice to have. If you are on a budget, the wired version holds its own. I think it does just fine for seeing who's at the door. Maybe you don't get the best quality out there, but you at least get an idea of what is going on out there. Now, I did do another test comparing the budget wired version with Ring's budget battery powered video doorbell. If you guys wanna check that out, I will link that above for you guys to do that, or it'll be in the description below. Another thing to talk about is the night vision. So with the wired version, I didn't think the night vision was all that bad. It was nice and bright. You could see everything that was going on. That was blurry, typical with the wired version. And as much as I liked the night vision with the Pro 2, they've got this feature called colored night vision. Now I've also tested this with their other security cameras. And I've noticed that turning on colored night vision really just seems to bring in yellows into it. There's no color at all. If you notice in the shot, the only difference that you notice between the non-colored version and the colored night vision were the lights behind me were actually like a yellowish color. But that was it. I mean, you couldn't see what I was wearing. You couldn't see any other color of anything else. I don't know. I wouldn't really call that color night vision, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.